Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through another Materials 101 video where I show you the clays that I use for sculpting the parts of my art dolls. So stay tuned. So first off, we're starting with uh, Sculpey Original, which is a uh, white polymer clay. And it's used for sculpting a one-off part. So you can't reuse this material at all. You have to bake it in the oven and it's great for people that have sort of weak hands or you know arthritis and stuff because it's a bit softer than all the other Sculpies. You can usually find Sculpey Original at any local craft stores for around 20 bucks um, but have a look on eBay or any online stores because you probably get it cheaper than in the craft stores. It's a great material but I don't often use it. And on to the next material which is Super Sculpey. And this is probably the most popular one there is. Uh, I used to use it only until I discovered Monster Clay, which I much prefer over the Super Sculpey. So Super Sculpey is another polymer clay that needs to be baked in the oven once you've sculpted something. It's a little bit harder than the Sculpey original, so it's not so great with people with weak hands or arthritis. But it holds really great detail and it's easy to sculpt with. It has a slight skin colored translucency so it's good for ears and noses and uh, any skin textures you want um, and you can find it again in a, any local craft stores for around 22 to 25 dollars and onto the final Sculpey which is Super Sculpey Firm and it comes in a grey colour. Uh, this is the hardest one and it, it, it requires a lot of kneading to be able to make it malleable um, so it's probably not that great for people with weak hands again. Uh, I've only used it a couple of times and it wasn't really my cup of tea so I don't really use it all that often. Again it's polymer clay so it will need to be baked in the oven once you finish sculpting with it. And you can find it in specialty art stores for around 30 bucks. And I mean it's great for sculpting details but again it's just really really hard to use. And here's another polymer clay which I don't really use all that often. It's called Fimo by Stadler and it comes in a variety of colours and textures and it's quite popular amongst other sculptors so it is a good quality clay. Again it's a polymer clay so it needs to go into the oven when you finish sculpting with it and it is quite a hard clay so again it needs to be kneaded to make it malleable to work with it. It's great if you want to sculpt something but you don't want to paint it so you can just buy the colours in Fimo and sculpt it from there. And Fimo you can find in any local craft store or even online for around 10 bucks a little square. And onto my favourite thing to sculpt with which is Monster Clay by The Monster Makers. And this is kind of hard to find in Australia but you can find it. I got mine from Barnes Online, the same place I got my silicons from. So this is a wax based clay which means it doesn't go hard and you'll need to heat it up to be able to use it. As you can see it's quite hard when it's cold. I usually heat mine up with the microwave so I pop it in for two minutes on high. Once that's done I take it out and have a look how it's doing and I just heat it up in one minute intervals from there on. When I'm sculpting with it it cools down quite quickly so I do have it under a heat lamp so you can use just a, a strong desk lamp or even a reptile lamp and this just makes sure the clay stays soft and warm. Monster clay is really great for sculpting something that you're going to make a resin cast out of and I highly recommend giving this clay a try. And here's something that I use for any sort of additives or any little bubble holes that need to be plugged. It's called Epoxy Sculpt and it's a two part epoxy which you can mould and sculpt from and it has a work time of about half an hour so you do have to work a bit quickly. I usually work in little bits so I don't waste any epoxy as it's not very cheap. So epoxy sculpt comes in a variety of colours like browns, whites and greys and you can paint over it with no problem at all. So once I've finished sculpting with epoxy sculpt I usually leave it overnight for it to cure properly that way there's no risk of it being soft or anything. And I got this epoxy sculpt from the same place I get my silicon and that's Barnes. And I think it was about $40 for these two pots. 
Now I'm just going to give you a quick look of some of the sculpting tools that I use and these are just dentistry tools which you can find on eBay for about 20 bucks and they're really really handy to have when you're sculpting things to get into any sort of crevices. Now I don't specifically use all of these but it's just come in a pack and um, they do come in handy every now and again. And this pointy one is the one that I use the most. And this flat tool is probably my second most used one. And this tool is also a really, really great tool to have. It just gets into all the little nooks and crannies. Another handy tool are these three ball tools. They're really great for making eye wells and anything like that. They come from Sculpey, so you could probably find them on eBay or anything like that. And they have little rubber ends on the back of it, which also come in handy every now and again. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you found this video informative and you can play around with some of the clay things that I've shown you. Uh, let me know what you make out of these clay things. I'd love to see them. So shoot me a message on my Instagram, which is Creatures of Nat. Thanks for watching and let me know if you want me to make anything or do anything down in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!